Big news from Knott's Berry Farm. The park tweeted yesterday that it would be removing its Vacoma boomerang named, well, Boomerang next month. Knott says that the last day to ride will be April 23rd during their annual Boysenberry Festival. This will officially mark the end of Boomerang's 27-year run at the park, and its removal certainly raises a couple of questions. First of all, the park never said whether Boomerang would be scrapped or relocated to another park. It seems to be a fully functioning roller coaster after all. What Cedar Fair could do is add the boomerang to one of their smaller parks like Valley Fair or Michigan's Adventure. Just four years ago, Six Flags Over Texas did the same thing with their boomerang flashback. They ended up giving it to Six Flags St. Louis, and it's possible that Cedar Fair could pull a similar move. After all, they previously relocated a boomerang from the defunct Geauga Lake to Carowinds. But here's the more pressing question. Why are they removing it in the first place? A boomerang doesn't take up that much space, so what could possibly replace it? Well, here's the thing. The boomerang is part of a pretty small cluster of land, but the three attractions that surrounded the coaster for years could make way for more space. Wipeout and Riptide were closed down last year, and the Sky Cabin was removed from the park's website after an incident last December where it got stuck. So it'll likely be removed too. So now you've got a pretty decent sized piece of land. It's perfect for one of two things, a flat rides plaza like Carowinds County Fair section, or a brand new roller coaster. However, considering how landlocked Knott's is, it doesn't have a lot of space for a new coaster. That's why the last one they got was a Mack Rides Wild Mouse named Coast Rider in 2013. For this reason, Knott's will definitely want to go with a more compact coaster. Of course, when it comes to major compact attractions, the first thing that comes to mind would be a launch coaster. Without the chain lift, there is much less space to take up. However, Knott's already has three other launch coasters, Montezuma's Revenge, Pony Express, and the one and only Accelerator. So having four launch coasters in one park would arguably be a bit of a stretch. What Knott's could do instead is put in an elevator coaster, something like Cannibal at Lagoon. Or they could put in something with a vertical lift like Thunderbolt at Coney Island. Either one of these choices would be a great fit at this park. Whatever Knott's decides to do is still up for debate. However, with all of this new space and one less coaster on their roster, I'd say it's very likely we'll be seeing something awesome here. Thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You could find links in the description. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.